several concepts actually that I want to share um, all in one lesson. Um, so I hope you have a few minutes. We're going to jump right into it. Um, you probably recognize that progression from a song, from songs like Kirk Franklin's Don't Cry and Fred Hammond's That's Like David. Very nice, effective progression, especially if you're on a, um, a synthesizer, something that you can layer, have a pad with your keyboard and your, your strings. I mean, very nice progression that you should learn and incorporate, okay? All right, so in the key of E flat, first things first, major scale, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and back to E flat. And if you paid attention, the core movements of the progression we were just circling around the fourths, okay? So there was a, a pickup, went to the two, to the five, one, four, seven, three, and then the six, okay? So essentially the circle of fourths, skipping a few in between. So in basic music theory, we know that technically, on the one, you should play a major chord. On the two, you should play a minor chord. On the three, a minor. Four, a major. Five, minor. Six, minor. Seven, diminished. So just let, let us apply that, simply stated exactly like that. We're going to play the proper chords on the proper intervals of the scale, okay? So again, we're going to, we're going to work on the lead in later, the pickup later. So the first note was the two. We just expressed that should be a minor. So what I want to do is play an F minor and just invert it. So I have C on the bottom, F, A flat. And we say we should play a major on the five. And there you have it, B flat major. And we're going to leave that in root position. B flat, D, F. Of course, the one, we said you play a major. Flat major, second inversion. So that places the B flat on the bottom, the one in the middle, E flat, G on top. Okay. We also said you should play a major on the four. And just like B flat, we're going to leave this A flat major chord in reposition. A flat, C. simple. Let's try it again. Then we 
into the seven. And then we said in our scale that a diminished chord should be played on the seven. Okay. And this would actually work in a progression like this. But also know that you can always substitute the seven chord with the same chord that you played on the two. started on the two with an F minor. We can also substitute this diminished with an F minor because essentially we're only changing one note. Okay. All right. So now we're going to the three, which we said should be a minor chord. the G minor works there but in this progression it's not as effective so normally I would substitute that chord with a diminished 7 okay okay so the 3 the G and the bass we're going to play a B diminished 7 B to the six, which would usually be what? Minor. Now I did end this progression on the minor, but while we're playing through the progression, I'm going to substitute it with the major. So I went from the C minor to the C major. Okay. Let's do those last three chords. F minor on the seven. B diminished to seven on the three. C major on the six. Okay. Let's try from the beginning. Basically, that's the majority of the song. Now, that pickup we did from the beginning. Incorporated many of the same chords. So, from the sixth, we're going to stay with the C major chord. Just inverted. So, C on the bass. G, C, E. Right hand. To an F minor again. minor inverted. So we have an A flat on the bottom, a C in the middle, F on top. Let's try those again. Alright, moving on. Now we have a B flat diminished 7 over E. That's B flat. Sometimes I like to hit the single, single B flat note before I go into the progression and sort of grace it from the A flat. So I just roll it all the way from the A flat, slide off of the A onto the B flat. So slowly it would be. Okay. Walk it up. 
there I incorporated what we call a poly chord. And in simple terms, you're stacking a chord over top of another. So again, on that four, we're playing a major chord. The four is A flat, so in the bottom of that stacked chord, I was playing an A flat major chord in the first inversion position. But to play the complementing polychord, I would play the chord for the note that is a perfect fifth above that A flat, okay? So now let's look at it as if we're in the key of A flat. So what's the fifth note in the major scale of A flat? It's E flat, okay? So while I'm playing that A flat major chord on the bottom, I can stack an E flat right over top of it. Now you can play these at any any inversion, but I like to play them with a top, the left hand chord, and the bottom of the right hand chord are butted up against each other. Give it, it gives it just a little bit more character than when you space it out. Okay. So that's just a little, a little substitution for you to play on that four.